Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw the Arctic Assassin from Fortnite. So, to start off, we're going to start at the top of our paper, and we're actually going to start with her hair. I know it's a little different, usually we start at the eyes, but we want to start with the hair in this time. So, to draw her hair, very easy. So starting at the top of my paper, I'm just going to make a small little curved line like this. Then I'm going to take this line and I'm going to kind of curve it back in the same shape like that. Then I'm going to make another little line and just kind of curve that back up there as well. Now, I want to draw her glasses and then we'll continue with some of the rest of the hair and everything. So to draw our glasses, I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make a line that just has a little bit of a curve in it and it's going to go right about there. Then at the end of it, I'm going to draw a small line that goes down. And then I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves back. Then it's going to go up and down just a little bit. And then it's going to curve back to where we started the hair. Then, starting up here by the hair, I'm going to draw just a line that just kind of curves down towards the sunglasses. And then it's just going to kind of curve back up here. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves up, and then it's going to come back down towards the hair like this. Then, starting right here in this point, I'm going to draw a few curved lines that just show some different parts of the hair, and you can always add a few small lines too just kind of make the hair look more realistic. And then, over here, I'm going to draw the face. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down. Then I'm just going to go in. Then I'm going to come back up and up to the hair like that. Now for the nose, I'm just going to draw two small lines going down and then sort of a smiley face for the nose. Now for the mouth, I'm going to draw a small smiley face like this. Make it a little bit longer on this side. Then I'm going to draw a small smiley face below for the bottom lip and then kind of like a stretched out M shape for the top lip. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's pretty small. Now right up here I'm going to draw a little shape for the eyebrows one on each side. Then I'm going to draw the inside of the glasses. So I'm going to draw two diagonal lines like this. Then I'm going to just kind of sweep these lines back up here like that. And then I'm just going to kind of curve the bottom parts back here like this. Then there's an extra little part of the glasses that's kind of connected to the face. Then on the side of the head, I'm going to draw a small rectangle. And then I'm just going to draw another tiny rectangle on top of that. And then a tiny rectangle on the bottom, just to show her like the headpiece is. 
So now, let's start with the rest of the body. So, next, we need to draw the neck. So, I'm going to start right here and draw a line down like this. And then over here, I'm going to draw another line down for the other part of the neck. Then, I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to make a curved line for the neckline of the shirt. Now, over here, we're going to start with her shoulder. So I'm just going to draw a small line that comes out here and kind of curves around for one shoulder. Then, over here, I'm going to draw another line that just kind of curves down and curves around for the other shoulder. Now, starting right here, let's draw her torso. So, I'm going to start right up here, and I'm actually going to draw a line that kind of comes down, goes out, comes in a little bit. Then it's just going to go down and out just a little bit like that. Then over here, I'm going to start a line right here. And I'm just going to draw the line kind of in and then down and out just a little bit. Now. For, the, for this arm, I'm going to just draw a line that kind of goes out and then down right to about there. And then I'm going to draw the same thing in here. So I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes in. And it's going to come back out just a bit like this. Now, over here, this arm, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of comes down. And it's just going to kind of go out like this, all the way down to about there. Now, back here by her torso, I'm just going to draw these lines a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to connect these two lines with a curve to show where her shirt is. Now let's put some details on her shirt. So, first thing is I'm just going to draw a curved line up here towards her shoulder. And then I'm just going to draw another curved line that goes all the way up there like that. Then over here, I'm just going to start here on the shoulder and draw a curved line down like that. Then right around the neckline here, I'm just going to redraw this curve. Then I'm going to put two lines right here on this side for the shirt. And then two lines right here on this side for the shirt. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves in and then goes down like this for some of the details on the shirt. And then over here, I'm just going to follow this pattern and this line and go straight down to there. Now for the belt. So first, I'm just going to draw two lines that come down like this. And then I'm just going to draw a curved line right around like that. Then, I'm going to come over here to this arm and I want to finish this off. So, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of comes in a little bit. And then just kind of goes back out just a tiny bit. Make these a little bit longer. Then, let's do her hands. So, first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw two lines across on each one of these. Just show where her kind of gloves meet. Then, I'm going to draw on this one two lines going down. 
And then on this one, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of comes down, and it's going to kind of curve into a finger like this. Then when I come up here, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of curves down for the thumb. And then I'm just going to kind of bring these two together like that. Then I'm going to draw another finger behind there, and then another one back here like that. Now for this one, I'm going to draw a line that just comes down, and it's going to kind of shape into a little finger like this. Then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that just comes out and kind of curves around for the thumb. Then I'm going to bring these two lines together and then draw a couple more lines for the fingers. Now, let's add some details on the hands. So, first I'm just going to draw a little line up here to show where the glove would be on each side. Then at the tips of each of the fingers, I'm going to draw a little line because she's wearing fingerless gloves. So you want to put these little curves on each of these. Now, up here she's got this little wrist gadget on. So I'm just going to draw two lines up here. And then I'm going to put another smaller line right there. Then right here, I'm going to draw two angled lines. Then I'm going to connect them. And then I'm just going to add a few little buttons on the ends there. Then up here, she's got kind of like this uh, armband on. So I'm just going to draw a little curved line here. And then another one underneath it. And then I'm just going to draw a little line out just to show that it's a little bit bigger. Then up here, I'm just going to draw a couple lines just to show where there's some folds in the clothes. Now, on her little straps up here, she has little buckles. So we'll just make two lines right there for one. And then two lines over here for another one. Now, she also has some patterns on her shirt as well. So, right here on right here on her shoulder, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down, and I'm going to end it right about there. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to draw a line that kind of curves up. Now, coming back down here to the wrist, I'm going to draw a big tall triangle like this. Then on here she has these little tiny dot patterns on the top of her shirt. So you can go ahead and just kind of add a few dots in there. Try to keep them in nice straight rows if you can. So. Next, we need to work on the legs. So, to draw the legs, what we're going to do is, first, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to just draw a line that just kind of curves down right to about there. And then on this side, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down to about the same spot. Then, starting right here, leaving some diff distance between the belt, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes down. And I'm just going to draw a line that kind of curves it together like that. Then, over here, I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to draw a line that goes down. And then I'm going to curve this line a little bit higher up.
Now, coming down here, I'm going to draw two little lines inside here. And then I'm going to connect it with a curve. Then I'm going to make two lines coming down like this. And then I'm going to just connect this with another curve. Then, starting here, I'm going to draw kind of a line at an angle. And then I'm going to make this line kind of come out and then kind of curve down. And then I'm just going to draw this kind of curve shape line right here on top of it. Or at the bottom, I should say. Now for the boot. So, to draw the boot, I'm going to draw a line that comes down. And then a line that comes down right there, kind of at an angle. Then I'm going to curve this right here. And then just kind of curve this one around and have it just come back and meet this line. Then I'm going to just kind of redraw that same shape and just kind of meet it right there. Now on this line, this leg I should say, I'm going to draw two lines coming down and then just connect them with a curve. Then I'm going to draw two lines out, connect them with a curve. And then I'm going to just draw a line that kind of comes down. And the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to connect them. And then this time I'm going to draw two lines coming down at an angle. Then I'm just going to come down and then kind of curve up for the top of a boot. Then I'm just going to curve this around, come back here, and connect it. Then I'm going to draw that same line here, just like that. Now for some details on the legs. So I'm going to draw two lines right up here for just one of those little straps that goes across her legs. Then, over here on the boot, I'm going to make two lines like this, and then two more lines underneath it. And then I'm going to make these little skinny rectangles coming off the sides. Then, on here, I'm just going to add a couple X's for where the shoelaces would be. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put some of these little bumps just to show some texture on the shoe. Now over here, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to add some of these X's. And then when I get down here, I'm going to make some little skinny lines like this. Then on here, I'm going to add some more of those little bumps, just to show some more texture on the boots. Now, up here, let's finish off some details on her. So, first thing, right up here, I'm going to draw a little rectangle shape for one of the loops on the belt. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Now for the buckle, I'm going to draw two lines down in the middle. And then I'm just going to draw two little shapes like this on the inside. Now, she has lots of little patterns and stuff, kind of like a snow camouflage look on here. So to do that, you know, it's kind of up to you. I'm just going to make some like angled lines that have lots of corners and stuff on here. You can kind of make, you know, weird shaped rectangles and squares, different things like this. 
You can just kind of put these all over. There's really no right or wrong way to make these. You just kind of want to have these all over the place just to show where there would be some camouflaging. Just lots of different like little geometric shapes all over. If you have trouble with that, just think of doing like triangles, rectangles, different things. Now, one of the last things that we need to do is on her on her neck up here, she has her little dog tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw two lines that come down here, kind of meet in a V. Then I'm just going to draw one little rectangle and then another little rectangle like that. And then there you go. There is your Arctic Assassin from Fortnite. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.